Hello, everybody. This is Joe Buck along with Joe Rogan for some reason. And you are watching Hold the Show. It's the Slows Cardinals versus the Florida Marlins here tonight. And what is guaranteed to be one heck of a game. Well, I'm here commentating with you, Joe. We got the two Joes here. And I believe what you meant to say was MLB the show, but for some reason this app will not allow you to say the words MLB if you are typing it. But yes, the St. Louis Cardinals, the Redbirds, they are hot to trot. They just won two out of three games against the Cincinnati Reds. And now we are rearing and ready for this one. I don't know about the get it. Hernandez. Who has six wins so far this year within a rev 3.16 is now headed towards the yes, mound for the Marlins and boy does he look at John and up for the Cardinals their leadoff man Tommy Edmond stepping up to the plate now and his average well he's got a good average let's just put it that way he stands up here at the plate and here comes the first pitch and it looks all oh, he hits it right on the screws, right at somebody. And that ball is caught, and that is the first out. Let's take a look now at the St. Louis Cardinal lineup. Oh, man. I tell you, they have a great lineup. And up next is um, Armando Sosa, which I, um, I didn't realize he was still batting for the Cardinals. He's batting second. And here comes the next pick. And it's low, but he still manages to get a piece of it, but he is out. He is called out at first base. And uh, that's two quick outs for the St. Louis Cardinals. The Marlins are on it tonight, brother, if you know what I mean. Yes, that's two quick outs for the Cardinals. And up next is Jerry, or this young man has been having a great year so far with four home runs, excuse me, I mean three home runs so far, and here comes the first pitch. And that's strike one, and here the Cardinals stand there at the plate. Two is one strike, no balls. Say we could have better weather for this. It's about 80 degrees in the ballpark tonight. No chance of rain. And there is Jerry Orr again. Here comes the next pitch. He pops him up. And it looks like that ball is going to get caught. And that's three up and three down for the Cardinals. We'll be right back after these messages with more MLB The Show here on the Xbox Network. Hey everybody, do you like Pelicans but you really don't have time for their shenanigans? Then come on down to the Pelican Petting Zoo in downtown St. Louis. The Pelican Petting Zoo is open 24 hours for your Pelican petting needs. If you really like pelicans and don't like the hassle of having to go to a shore somewhere and the ocean to see them, come see them in captivity. It's pretty much the same, except, you know, we keep them tranquilized uh, pretty much for a long time. But come on down to the St. Louis Pelican Pet Zoo. You'll really regret it if you hadn't. Thank you. Do you have to love the ones if you have the ones and don't want them to just be thrown in a jet somewhere when they dying? Then come on down to um, Bakersfield General Homes. That's right, Bakersfield General Homes. We make you so hard. We have chairs. You know, we come in and sit down in our beautiful luxury chairs. And uh, we have a wide selection of caskets to choose from. We come in and choose our caskets. We have those, you know, those videos that people play of their loved ones. They gather up all the pictures. We make nice collages. So come on down to, um, what did I say in the name of this place was again? I don't know how you'll find it. You'll find it. It's, it's cool. It could be Bruce Campbell's funeral homes. I mean, who cares? Let's come down in here. We're on um, 1105 West Main in Turkey, Alabama. That's right, 1105 West Main, Turkey, Alabama. We care about you.
generated by Revoice. Hello, everybody. I'm Al Hereton at Al Hereton's Way to Little Flay in the Tube Van. Now, I'm here to talk about purified water. Are you getting tired of water that just doesn't taste right? Water that may be laced with lead, chemicals, God knows what else. Come down to Al Hereton's Way to Little Flame Arm Tube Man's Purified Water of Aquarium. And we will hook you up with the most purified water that you've ever tasted in your life. Or your money back guaranteed. This is Al Harrington. Come on down to West 57th Street in Harrisburg. West 57th Street in Harrisburg. For your water needs. Generated by Revoice. Welcome back. As we look, it's Brandon Waddell. He's starting record. Looks pretty good. And we have Brandon Dees up at the plate. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch to him is Lau for ball one. And here we go as number 79 is standing out there. You can see. And here we go. Here comes the second pitch. You know, he swings way and misses big time for strike one. So now the count is one and one. Here comes the next pitch. He throws it and it's in there for ball. So it's two and one the count now. You can see the pitcher running back to pitch. Here comes the pitch. And he hits it down straight on the line. And it's going to be caught. It gets caught. Look at that. So the Miami Marlins tonight, Joe, we see as they go up against the St. Louis Cardinals as John Beretti, a Britti, gets up at the plate now. And there's one out. Here comes the pitch. Whoa. Man, that looked low to me, Joe. But... I ain't no baseball analyst like you are. Here comes the next pitch. And he smacks it up the middle. And here comes the throw over the first. And he's out of the first. So quick two outs uh, for the St. Louis or for the Marlins. And now we got Garrett Cooper. Garrett Cooper coming up to the plate. And boy, what a guy he looks like, Joe. I'll tell you, Waddell may have some problems with him. And here comes the windup. And the pitch. And strike one. Wow, he didn't even look at that one, Joe. Wow, I mean, he did look at it as that was going on by. But you got to admit, baseball back in season now. Everything is going just... Crazy. Here comes the next pitch. Woo! He hits it straight away left and a right. Generated by the voice. He's indeed is what Dell wins up for the next pitch. He stares him down. And here comes the pitch one. He hits it straight away left, and it looks like this is going to get caught. And one, two, three, down goes the Marlins, and we are at the end of the first going into the top of the second. We'll be right back with more baseball action. Stick around. Hello, everybody. Billy Mays here. And then uh, I got an amazing new product for you. Are you tired of things falling off your wall? Are you tired of not having enough shelves to hang crap on? Well, don't worry anymore. Use the new amazing, new improved Mighty Putty. Mighty Putty will stick like glue. Actually, better than glue. Glue doesn't even stick that good. Mighty Putty from Wanko. Wow, what an amazing product. Look, I could even, I could even use it to glue the Shamwell guy's buffo sealed. And a lot, lot more. Or your mighty putty today. Call the number of the bottom of your screen, folks. Operators are standing by. But wait, there's more. If you order this big tube of mighty putty, you get this scraper for free. 
That's right. You get the Mighty Putty, the Scraper, and a picture of the Shanwell guy. Order now. Hi, everybody. John Madden here for Ace Hardware. Ace is the place for your springtime mace. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but you can get anything you need here at Ace Hardware. You're talking hoses, lawnmowers, rakes, weed whackers, blowers, and a whole lot more. For a springtime cleanup, Ace is the place. It's your friendly neighborhood hardware store. I can need your lawnmower worked on, weed whacker fix, blowers not blowing. Mm. Then come on down to Bill Cox's. Bill Cox will fix your lawnmower, your money back guaranteed. Then you can pay me with some biscuit mustard on them. Mm -hmm. We got fair prices guaranteed. There, there. But then. Welcome back to Melby the Shell. And it looks like we got Albert Pulhaus up the plate, and he is standing up there. Boy, does he look hot. Here comes the first pitch to Albert, and it's far and away for a strike one. Even the Marlins dugout is looking at that one like, what the heck? Here comes the second pitch, and Albert hits it. It goes a long way. It's carrying, and this one is out of here. Kiss it could be. That's home run number four for Albert Pulhaus on the season. And here comes the pitch, and whoa, whammy. That ball is carrying a long way. It's a home run for Albert Pujols, number four in the season. Look at that, Joe. Boy, let's take a look at this again. C Crosby, I mean, Chimsville, whatever his name is, he is beside himself. Albert Pujols, he came back this season after uh, being released from what was it the angels i do believe look at that look at this one carry boy it had some length to it it sure did carry a long way joe boy you sure didn't have any emotion when you first caught that home run that was silly anyway we're back to the plate now cardinals reading that one nothing top of the second here comes the first pitch to Oh man, he smacks it. It goes a long way towards the wall. Kiss it goodbye, folks. That's back to back home runs. This is from Goldschmidt. Paul Goldschmidt. He's got five home runs on the season. And I could just I could just see these two being sort of like the uh, the Bash brothers back in the day. Remember that? Um Mark and what was the other guy's name? Oh, I can't even think straight. I believe you were talking about the Bash yeah, brothers, Mark Wire and Joseph Kansico. And he is that ball did carry a long way. That's back-to-back -back homers for the Cardinals. And now Aaron Arenado is up at the plate. Here comes the first pitch to him. And that's up high for ball 101 Arenado. I don't know why I say Aaron Arenado. Here comes the second pitch. And he swings away and fouls it off. That's right, Nolan Arenado, what a great ball player he is. You're right, it was the Bash Brothers, Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco. And uh, Nolan takes a look at ball two, far and away. I mean, that ball was so far and away, it almost got away from him. Here comes the next pitch. He hits it. It's going a long way. Is this one also going to get over? No. No way. Oh my goodness, yes sir, a solo home run for Nolan Arenado. And that's his first home run of the season, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. And now the Cardinals lead it, 3 nothing at the top of the second. This is unbelievable. I have not seen a slugfest it's like this in years, Joe. It's almost as though we're watching a home run derby out here. And now who's who's this at the plate? Is that batter? Yes, batter's up at the plate. Here comes the first pitch to batter, and he hits it. Boy, I tell you what, they better get this pitcher out of here, Joe. He's he has done. I mean, he 
they have done some damage to him, that is for sure. Batter legs out of doubles. He hits it all the way to the wall, as you can see there in our, our replay. And up next is Yavi Molina. We just like to remind you fans watching at home that this is a simulation of the game and not the actual game itself. Major League Baseball is not involved He's your right, Joey. The Mullen is up. Okay. And I can tell Batting. you from experience, Joe he is one heck of Joe a catcher. Rowan. Hits one right up the middle. It goes all the way to the outfield wall. That one is caught. No runners will eventually. Well, he's now runner. Gets over to third. And now let's take a look at the Marlins defense real quick. Okay, there it was. And now here comes the first pitch to Brandon Whitdell, the pitcher. And he swings at 1-0 far and away. And now here's our umpires for today's game. Major League Baseball would like to remind you to please clean up your trash. And also, your umpires for tonight's game, your home plate umpire, Steve Miller. Steve Miller, ladies and gentlemen, your home plate umpire for the game. And usually these matchups between picture and picture do not end well. The picture knows what the picture is thinking. And now here comes the pitch, and he lays down. The bunny runs over the first, and he's safe. He is safe at first. Unbelievable. That's his first major league at Brandon Weddell. And let's look at this again. He lays down an absolutely perfect bunch. Joe, what do you think about all this? Yes, it's an absolute perfect bunt. As we see, he... Um... It brings in another run for the Cardinals as it is 4 nothing now with one away, only one away. And as we see good old what's-his-name standing at the plate there, Joe, I got to tell you, oh, he, he, he uh, pitches out one, checks him over at first, and now he winds up, and here comes the first pitch to him. He hits it way, way to the wall, and that will a bit no, no runners will advance. Well, we, yes, we got one that always caught between second and third, and they get him, they tag him out on third. Man, what a mistake. That cost the Cardinals an out their final. No, they still have, they have two outs now. And now it's Albert Polos back at the plate. Here comes the first pitch. To him, and that's in there down the middle for a strike. And oh, wait, that's not Albert Pulmos, that's a Mondo Suso or whatever. Here comes the second pitch. He swings, hits it right down for a line drive. And this one will get in for a double. And another runner will come across the plate as it is now 5 0 Cardinals. A Mondo Suso with a uh, a tremendous hit there towards center field. God, I can't and believe how points. you botched that name, Joe. You got Albert Poodles mixed up with Amundo Suso. Anyway, here we go, as I believe that is Jeremy. We're up there at the plate. Here comes the first pitch to him, and he swings away. It goes in the center of left field, and all men are safe. Yes, that was Jeremy, or by the way, look at this replay. Now we have the real Albert Pujols up at the plate, and he's just kind of standing there. Uh, yes, I can't believe I botched that so bad. But yes, the real Albert Pujols is now standing up there. It's five nothing Cardinals, two outs, and uh, two on. And there's a check by the pitcher. He checks uh, third base, and now he looks Albert Pujols dead in his eyes. And you can just tell Albert Pujols is ready to ram this one out of the park. He uh, hit it out of here. Oh, it looks like they're going to potentially walk him. Yes, uh, there he goes. They're putting, they're lowing up the bases. I can't believe this. It is the top of the second. They are intentionally walking out of Polos to get to Goldschmidt. Oh, I can't believe this. Goldschmidt standing up there at the plate. Here comes the first pitch to him. It's right there. I mean, it was dead center. He takes it for strike one. And you can see all the men standing there at the plate. And then here he comes. There's the second pitch. He swings wildly at that one. And there are now two two away with two outs. And here comes the third, the next pitch. 
And Boodle, he strikes him out looking. Wow. Five nothing Cardinals. We'll be back after these messages. Don't go away, folks. MLB on uh, the show network. You are watching Fox Sports. Hello everybody, I'm Mitchells here and don't forget to watch Football for Dummies, Football for Dummies coming soon on the May 27th. Are you tired of punching potatoes? Well then, my friend, you no longer have to touch another potato. Why not to try a tortilla? A tortilla is crispy, crunchy, flowery, and it just melts in your mouth. You can do a lot of things with a tortilla. You can make soft shell tacos, you can make burritos, you can make um, fajitas, quesadillas. I mean, the list just goes on and on. So, surprise the family tonight. And instead of potatoes, pick up tostados. Tostados tortillas. There. Wow. Be good. And welcome back to Cardinal Baseball, as this is shopping out to be a heck of a game. And you've got we're in the bottom of the second. Now Kill Road Jobs comes up to the plate, and it is five nothing Cardinal Lee. Here comes the pitch. He hits it straight away to right fill, and it's caught. I'll tell you what. Do you like eating sandwich cookies? Let's take a look at the Cardinals defense. We got Jerry Ord and uh, oh, am I? He's standing up there at the plate. Here comes the pitch. And ooh, it's just off the plate for ball one. So the count one and oh now. But one out. Here comes the pitch. He hits it a mile in the left field, but it's caught. And there it is for the second out, ladies and gentlemen. God, I tell you what, though, these sandwich cookies are quite delicious, Joe. Even, even if you don't have milk with them, they're just beautiful. There it goes. It's going all the way. Oh, it's going to drop in there for a double. I tell you what, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's caught between bases. And the Cardinals had their final out. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to commercial breaks, but we'll be back with more MLB The Show. Jump away. Don't lose arm over it, Kyle. Hi, uh, everybody. I'm Sam Elliott here down at Elliott's Car Sales. You come see us. We're on I-94 here at the BDC. The BDC, where we sell cars. We have Omaha's as low as $19.99.95. We have Chevrolet's as low as $15.50.50.55.55. Come on down. We'll make a deal. Hey everybody, this here is your good old friend, <laughs> Herbert the Merbert. And I'm here just to tell you we have everything from anything you can imagine from vacuum cleaners, to couches, lamps, rugs, lights, anything you want. Down here are Scurry Murray's. Scurry Murray's, if you can find a better deal anywhere else, Ow, eat my hat. I got a hat right here. Do you see it? I'll eat it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Singing with Gilbert. And now, for my first song. Huh? What's this magical thing? Just speak through my hands. Honey comes good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. No, no, no. The taste is big. 
yeah, 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 but it's not small. No, no, no. Honeycomb, when you want to sing some, wait, hey, when you want to sing, wait, 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 wait a minute. This is a honeycomb commercial? I thought I was learning how to play the piano. No. Oh, boy. Welcome back to the show. And Nolan Arenado up the plate as he digs in. We look, he's one for one here tonight. And here comes the pitch. And Nolan, they are not all getting all of this. 1-0 maybe not. It's caught in the outfield. No one there, another taking a seat now for the first time tonight. Wait a minute, is this the top of the third? It's not supposed to be the top of the third. That's weird. Weird, it's the top of the third, Joe. But you got to imagine now these Cardinals playing the Marlins here tonight. At a five, five nothing lead. They really got nothing to lose. And the pitcher appears to have 26 pitches on him. Uh, oh, there's a nice little hit. That's a base hit. Boy, I tell you what, it's a base hit if I've ever seen one. Look at this again in instant replay. He gets a good piece of that ball for a nice base hit there. And now Yabir Molina up at the plate. Here comes the pitch. And he, oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. Did he get on base or was that not? He caught it. He caught it. I don't believe it. He caught it, actually. So that's two outs. One on. And up now is the pitcher, Brandon Waddell, who's actually one for one in this game. He's not doing a very bad job of being a hitting pitcher, as they say in baseball. Cardinals ahead, 5 enough of the course. Here comes the next pitch. Strike two. Oh, boy. I'd say this inning is all but over right here, folks. Here comes the next pitch. He hits it to somebody. They get on it over the first. And there's your final out. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Happen. Ship people are voice. as they are at high noon. They make you want to take off your socks. But did you know that you do go with socks during month floor at night? You're more than likely to get sock mites. Sock bites happen at night while you're sleeping. Those little mites, they crowd you your socks where they live forever. And once they live inside the socks, it's really hard to kill them. You will share you could burn your socks to the pile of burning socks, but then you will have socks. Rue way to get rid of sock mites is to be your sock outside the window for 20 minutes. The more you know. Hello, I'm a robot and um, I use Lysol in my bathroom every morning. Scrub down the shower curtain, scrub down the walls, the handles. We're humans, but they're filthy hands all the time. Do you know the average human doesn't wash his hand, his or her hands when they take a pee? In fact, the average human male doesn't wash his hands ever when he takes a pee. Isn't that disturbing? Do you know what kind of germs can be on pee? Probably none since it's made of pneumo uh, pneumonia. Probably none since it's made of ammonia. That's right. Pee is pure ammonia. Oh, and some acids and proteins and a jar of crap. This is whatever the kidneys filtered out to the bladder. That's something to think about. The more you know. Do, 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 do. Wait, did we already have a commercial like this? I'm going to call George Lucas. Hello, are you sick and tired of getting your bread down from the top of your refrigerator? 
Only to realize you get soggy and kind of wet inside. But don't worry about that anymore. I'm Mark Zimmerman, and I have invented the ultimate bread box. The ultimate bread box is neither hot nor cold. It coincides with room temperature. Have you ever gone into that bathroom and seen like a velvet rug inside there? And then you look on the sink and you see one of those things that pop up. And it's like an air freshener that's got jelly on the inside of it. I always thought those things were cool. I wanted to bite into them so bad because they were all jelly and squishy like. But I know that they're just air fresheners. I wonder if they still sell those. Those things were awesome. <laughs> Is this supposed to make a commercial? Oh god, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna make something up. Buy Pringos. They taste pretty good. Once you pop, you can't stop. And welcome back to Milby the Show. As it seems as though the slows Cardinals now back up bottom of the third. Here comes the first pitch and it's hit grounder two over to first. There's the first out at first. So now we are at one out. And now as Lerbizeros is at the plate. Here comes the first pitch to him and he hits it down the line. Fair. It's a well, wait. No, it's a foul ball. Here comes the next pitch. A lot of people like to talk like the defense isn't the issue. And it isn't. We you strike two. two so one here. quick out and now two bottom quick the strikes. Third. There's. And here's the second pitch to the Cruz. And it's in there for strike two. He's not even attempting to swing at that one. And you can see here, bottom of the third, Carmo's up by five, five nothing. And we're quickly down, two outs. And here comes the next pitch. Oh, he swung before that even got over the plate. Are you kidding me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that ends the bottom of the third. We've got to go to some commercial breaks, but we'll be right back with top of the fourth with more St. Louis Cardinal baseball when the MLB The Show continues after this. You looking to, uh, to improve your home this summer, you looking to to make a difference? Then come on down to the Home Depot. Home Depot, we really mean business. We sell you things that you need to make your life and your your whatchamadoodle a lot easier. Home Depot, come on down. Hey man, what's happening? Uh, Larry Schmitz here from ZZ Top and I'm here to tell you that when you're in a band it don't matter the whole I did a band it just matters how hard you work you know what I'm saying so next time you see a guy and he says he wants to be in a band don't laugh at him give him a chance man you'll be glad you did a message from your national music uh, affiliation. Thank you. Fate. John Madden here, coming back from the dead to remind you that Ace Hardware, Ace is the place for your friendly garden neighborhoods, one-shop stopping network. You can get things from lawnmowers to weed whackers, and even hoses, Ace. Ace is the place for your friendly neighborhood hardware store. Ace, hey, stop stabbing me with that damn pitchfork. Looking back to the shelf, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man was a pretty big guy, and now it mund up to the plate. He looks anxious. Here comes the first pitch to him in there for strike one. And Hernandez walks off the mound looking kind of cool, if you will. He winds back. Here comes the second pitch. He swings, hits it. Just foul, just foul. We'd just like to remind you fans watching at home that this is a simulation of the game and not the actual game itself. Major League Baseball is not involved in this whatsoever. Okay, back to Joe Rogan and Joe Buck. 
And yes, Joe, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was a big guy. And we are top of the fourth. Here comes the next pitch to, or the first pitch to what's his name. There goes the ball. He hits it on the ground, and there's the first out quickly. It is one out, top of the fourth. Cardinals still up by five if you're just tuning in. And uh, up the plate now is Amundo Soso. Amundo Soso which I believe I called Amundo Susu Molino. And there's uh, first pitch to him, strike one. As we get ready, pitcher's winding up and his wind up now. There he goes, it delivers. Wow, he swung way out of the zone for that one. And now here comes the third pitch to him. He heads it right to the third baseman. Relay the plate, oh, and he threw it right over his head right over his head. Look at this again in uh, instant replay. So he hits it over Brandon. Oh, well, I guess we're not going to look at it in instant replay. So we got a man on third now. One out. Top of the fourth. Cardinals leading 5 nothing. As uh, who is that guy? Here comes for, oh yes, Jeremy Orr. Jeremy Orr steps in that batter's box. He is one for two here tonight. By the voice. It's so true, this Jeremy or guy is super good. And the pitcher wins back, and here comes the second pitch to him. He hits it on the ground and throws over the first. He's out. So they are now two outs with one on third, so you can count that as a sacrifice hit or sacrifice bunt, a swinging button, if you will. And now the plate is Albert Pujols. Indeed, the great Albert Pujols. Here comes the first pitch to him and he hits or tries to hit the first thing he sees it goes got a sailing and the sky gets caught and that is the final out for the top of the fourth we will return with the bottom of the fourth here right after this stick around for more mlb action hello everybody this man is what a game Rabowski here for anheuser bush and I was just like to say, forget Bud Light, man. We made a huge mistake. Yep, we made a huge mistake, and we are paying for it. Old brother that we pay for it. What if we lose like a billion dollars on that deal? Mm -hmm. Anyway, drink Budweiser. Budweiser, king of beers. And don't forget his second cousin, Bush and Bush Light. Bush light's still okay, right? We're still, are we good? I think we're good. Anyway, Budweiser. Drink response. And please, please forgive us for the whole Bud Light thing, really. Really, we just, we hired some new guys. And, yeah, things didn't turn out so well. We had to hire them. I mean, it would have been against the law to not hire them. You know what I mean? Anyway, drink bud. Why is it? Generated by Revoice. Hey, Mo! Springtime is here. No, 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 no. It's time for baseball. What's with that noise in the background, you lunkhead? It's my fan, Mo. That's impossible. You ain't got no fans. No, Mo. I ain't talking about them kind of fans. I'm talking about the Soikolin kind. You know, the ones that's got the blades in them and goes... Wah, 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 wah. No, 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 no. Why, you pudding head? Ain't you ever heard of a whisper quiet fan? Only when I tell a bad joke. No, oh, no. No, you knucklehead. Whisper quiet fans are, well, they're quiet, unlike you, and they're affordable too. They keep your room 95% cooler. So remember, folks, buy a whisper quiet fan. And don't be a knucklehead like this guy. Whisper quiet fans. Buy them wherever whisper quiet fans are sold. What do you think of that, shout ahead? I think it's fantastic. No, 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 no.
by you. That's why I'm in charge of the jokes, folks. Anyway, don't forget, buy a Whisper Quiet fan today and save yourself a huge headache, unlike this guy. Come here, you. Hey, do you like burritos? Do you like tacos? Do you like uh, chimichangas? Then come on down to Nolan Renato's chimichangas and more. We have burritos the size of your head. That's Norman Antonado's chimichangas. Located on West Main in St. Louis. You come see us. Oh, and we have burritos the size of your head. Did I mention that? Oh, I guess I did. Soft shell tacos and hard shell tacos are only 99 cents every Tuesday for Taco Tuesday night. Come on in. We'll leave you smiling. Generated by Revoice. Hello and welcome back to the show. It is the bottom of the fourth and now John Bonaduce is up to the plate. Yes, that is the bottom of the fourth and he takes a... Oh boy, he really flails at that pitch. And I'm gonna tell you, Joe, this is a heck of a ball game so far. It is the bottom of the fourth. Oh, and one now. There comes the next pitch. Ooh. And it bites the outside corner for 0 oh and 2. Here at the bottom of the fourth. And now what's going to happen here? Florida Marlins are struggling offensively, as you can see. Now here comes the third pitch. And he hits one right to the uh, third baseman. Oh, he's safe. Wow, he's really got some legs. It's a base hit from Joseph uh, Bonaduce, or whatever his name is. As he makes it over to uh, the first safely. John Burke. Beretti, I'm sorry. Joe, why did you make me say Joseph Bonaduce? That's weird. Anyway, here we go. Still bottom of the fourth. No outs. Men on base. Cardinals leading 5 nothing. And now up to the plate. Well, I can't read his numbers, so... I'll a check over to... Uh, he checks it over the first. And now we get uh, get a sign, and here comes the pitch. And he hits one square right up the middle to center field, and it is caught for the first out. Bottom of the, the fourth, and we are sailing first. right along. Major League Baseball would like to remind you to please clean up your trash. And also, your umpires for tonight's game, your home plate. Bottom of the fourth, and we are Steve sailing Miller. right along here. And number Steve 79 Miller, with the catch. He made the catch out there in center field. And now game. up at the plate is good old what's his name. And he gets the sign. There's the pitch. And ball one is that was up high and in his eye. And we're sitting here waiting for the second pitch. Boy, we're waiting for a long time. Joe, let me tell you. And there it is. Oh, he tries to get the run down the second. Is safe. He steals second. Indeed, he safely steals second, as you can see here on the replay. The Cardinals uh, were caught napping there. And now, uh, here we are. Five up of Cardinals. One out. One on. Two and one to count now, as that was clearly a strike. Our ball, I mean. And here comes the third. Pit. Oh, he hits this one way to the outfield. It's going to the wall, to the track, to the wall. And it bounces off the wall for a, what should have been a double, but they didn't really move around the bases. Marlins uh, offense looks kind of sluggish out there tonight, Joe. I got, I got, I got to be honest with you. So now up at the plate is um, number 19, and he hits one to the left. Or, I mean, right center field, and now way out there, another base hit, and a run comes in. The Marlins finally get on the board here, bottom of the fourth. Look at this run. 
We'll see this again. No, we won't. Never mind. So up next at the plate is... Oh, wait, no. He's still... Wait. I'm confused. Anyway, we're just standing here doing nothing, I guess. And now he gets the sign. Oh, he throws over the third. And uh, just a check. Just a check guy. Well, the Marlins finally get on the board. It's now 5-0 to 1-0 slows lead. And now here comes the next pitch. And says his Holmes is at the plate. Here comes the next pitch. Well, the Marlins finally get on the board. It's now 5-0 to 1-0 slows lead. And now here comes the next pitch. And says his Holmes is at the plate. Here comes the next pitch. He hits it right up the middle. A double play as they finished a double play. And that ends the ending. We'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Holy crap. Are you tired of fans blowing your face constantly? Hi, my name's Tilly. My name is Tony Gazelle. And this is Fan Blocker. Fan Blocker blocks 95% of fans' harmful blowing rays. And not only that, but Blockful also conducts its own air by neutralizing the air that's in the air and it passes on the savings onto you. All right. What is the name of the product? Um, during a commercial ball again? Oh, yeah. Fan blocker. When you need to block your fan, you know, but this is ridiculous. They could just turn it off. Oh, right, 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 right. When you need to block your fan, use fan blocker. We good? Okay, cool. You are watching Fox Sports on MLB The Show. Not really a baseball game. Da 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 Thank you. Let me talk to you about lifting weights, bruh. I've been in the gym twice today. Twice, freaking twice. Been lifting weights. And everything. If you expect to keep in shape, you gotta get yourself the most maximum protein shake that you can. You wanna buy it like this? You wanna look like me? You want these great big 24 inch biceps, huh? Then go down to your local store and buy 31 grams of protein. What are you waiting for, punk? Looking back to the show, and the Marlins bring in Zach Thomas to pitch as we'll have a pitching change here tonight. And up at the plate right now is none other than Paul Goldsmith. Comes the first pitch and hits it a mile. We just like to remind you fans watching at home that this is a simulation of the game and not the actual game itself. Major League Baseball is not involved in this whatsoever. Okay, back to Joe Rogan and Joe Buck. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a pitch. But we have, you know, strike one. This is the first pitch, so that's good. Here comes another one. Ooh, dang, he almost him with that one. I gotta tell you, that was a crazy pitch job. So it's 5-1, Cardinals lead. The pitch count, 1-1. One one. Bottom of the fifth, or top of the fifth. Here comes the next pitch. And Goldschmidt hits in a mile long as he gets on first with a base hit. Wow. And here we thought the pitcher had him struck out. Look at this and get an instant replay, Joe. 
What an amazement. What excitement. Gojnath comes through in the clutch. And now up the plate is number 57. Or, I'm sorry, number 28. Of course. The pitcher's got to be pitchers, yo. Yeah. But he just damages there. And he's trying to throw intimidation, I think. Oh, he almost hit it without no. Wait, no. So there we go, two strikes. Zero out, so comes the next pitch. He hits a always oh, save left field. And oh my goodness, it's a home run. A home run, ladies and gentlemen. I don't believe it. He's a home run indeed as we see the manager clapping the dig out happily for this young man. Nolan Arena to look at this again in instant replay. He is that ball deed center right on the screw right in the left center field and just barely gets it out of here. Look at the exit velocity on that ball. And now up at the plate is good old what's his name. He's staying there strapping him. Man, here comes the pitch and he hits it straight away center field. Major League field. Baseball would like to that remind you to please clean up way. your trash. It's going, going, and also, going. your umpires for tonight's right. game, yeah, back to back. your home plate umpire, so Steve home Miller. Batter. Steve Miller, ladies career. and gentlemen, your I mean, home plate year. umpire for the game. And it is now 8-1 to one, St. Louis. Boy, I tell you, and they just brought that pitcher in. It's got to be demoralizing for a picture like that to give up back-to-back -back home runs. I'll tell you. Just look at that. Just the beauty of a home run. Just look how far that thing traveled. Up next, it's Yavi Nemlina. And here comes the pitch, and he swings low and away in the dirt. And the way they're now tightening up his batting gloves. Boy, I tell you, what an exciting night. What an exciting thrill to be here at the ballpark and just see all the fans here tonight. It's a beautiful spring day. Here comes the second pit or third pitch. He hits it down the line. It's going to be a fair ball. And Yadier Molina is on first base with no outs. I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. The Sables Cardinals are giving the Marlins a battering out there. But <laughs> get it, Joe, a battering. Why is that man eating hamburger helper anyway back to the game? And so he's up there at the plate. Here comes the pitch. All he's Why laying is that down man a eating bunch, hamburger he helper anyway back to the game. And so he's up there at the plate. Here comes the pitch. All he's laying down a bunch, but he pops it up and it's caught. That's one out. So we got one out. Summer, a spring night. There's nothing like there goes the pitch. He hits it on the screws right to right field. He's able to grab it. And now you've got runners on first and second pitch. He hits it on the screws right to right field. He's unable to grab it. And now you've got runners on first and second with only one oh we seem to be experiencing technical difficulties as uh the st louis cardinals are up again you can see and good old what's the name stand there here comes the pitch and webbo he hits it right in there base hit this one's getting truly outrageous let's look at the replay or done next question for these cardinals is where do you take it from here I mean, you're leading eight to one. There's no chance that, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say no chance. There's a pretty good chance that you've got this one in the back. Here comes the pitch. Strike one on Edmundo Soso. There comes the next pitch. He takes a hack and swing there for strike two. And I mean, you know, there's always that possibility of calls. Right there comes the third pitch. He hits it. Looks like this one's going to be caught. We're out number two. But it's kind of like ordering a DiGiorno's pizza. You know, you don't actually. Uh, there's Jeremy Orr coming up to the plate. Order a DiGiorno pizza. You know what I'm saying? It's DiGiorno's, not delivery. Speaking of delivery, 
Uh, when's the pitcher going to deliver the ball here? He just kind of, oh, I see. He steps off. Man, I could really go for a Dijon OP to right about there. Um, and it looks like they're going to intentionally walk the banner for some reason to load up the bases. I guess he's done damage on them once already tonight. And maybe that's why. And also, they're giving to Albert Pujols. Well, you would want the bases loaded to get to Albert Pujols. Uh -oh. uh, folks, sorry about that. Joe had to go to the bathroom. Okay, I might have to take over for him then. All right. Why you would walk. Bases loaded to get to Albert Pujols. I have no idea. And here comes the pitch. And he hits that one a mile away. It's going. Going towards the wall. It's gone. Home run. Grand slam. Home run by Albert Pujols. His fifth of the year. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. Well, they walked you the who and then they paid for it. Albert Polos showed them that he still has some juice left in him yet. Let's take a look at that again. Oh my goodness, that sure carried a long way. What's that? I'm gonna get a new announce partner. Oh, okay, I got no problem with that. Well, it looks like uh, there's a meeting at the mound, the pitcher's mound right now. These guys are talking. I guess that's just buying them some time to warm up a new pitcher. And um, here comes the pitch. Ooh, he pitched that one far and away. Up at the plate now, by the way, is Paul Dogeschmidt. Don't you just love that. Here comes another pitch. By the voice. That's what is going on here. He hits it, but just foul. He hits it, but just foul. And the Miami pitcher Thompson struggling a little bit here tonight. In fact, he's struggling a whole bunch. I certainly hope the manager's got someone warming up at the bullpen. There's pitch down the way, but low. Cardinals have a huge lead of 12 for 1. Top of the fifth. There are two outs, though, however. And up at the plate now is Gudo. Oh, he hits it down the line. And here comes the throw to the plate. What is he doing? He's trying to leg out a double. What in the heck? Are you tired of him? The Cardinals are already you? winning 12 to 1. Are you he tired of do people that. laughing at you when you're not even telling funny break. jokes? We'll, be right back with well more. if the answer is yes, be these the questions and a whole lot more. The fifth. Don't roll Come on over to the Bill Hogan's voice. Piano House of Pancakes. That's Bill Hogan's Piano House of Pancakes on I 49 high on Highway Mile Marker 37. We make pancakes and we sell pianos. So if you want a quality piano for low, low prices, listen to this. Come on down. We're downtown. Charlie Brown. You tired of potato skins letting you down? Well then, don't have that happen to you anymore. Go to your local grocery store affiliate and pick up Fridays, TGI Fridays, potato skins, cheddar and bacon, potato skins. It'll make you feel good. Fridays, we love you. Do, 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 do. Um, hello everybody. My name's Jake Paul, and why do I sound like a squirrel? Shit. Well, better eat this, then. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Mmm. 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 So crunchy. The crunchy peanut buttery taste of platter's peanuts. You can take them on vacation. You can have them in a van. You take them on a picnic. 
You can even eat them on the roof. They're so delicious. They're salty. Just enough. Flyers peanuts. They're delicious. And now, here's Heidi Watney. Hello, I'm Man, Erica Watney. Cool. And I was talking to the Marlins manager, Skipper the Skipper Mint, earlier, and he said that his team has been at more donuts in their backs. And he is very pleased with the way they're playing, but does wish that they pick up the pace. And he's praying, as you can see in the dugout. Thank you, Heidi. Well, I'm, uh... I'm Bob. You find the voice? Bob Euchre. And, uh, you're watching the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Florida Marlins. I had to take over for this sack of poop. Joe Buck over here, who thinks, by the way, he's like his dad, Jack Buck. But he's less than nothing, let me tell you. Anyway, we're in the bottom of the fifth, I do believe. I can't tell because the screen's all blurry McGurry. Uh, the Cardinals are leading 12-1. to 1, And there doesn't seem to be anything going on. The pitcher's just kind of standing there like a dumbass. And now the batter's kind of getting at it. There we go. And here comes the first pitch to him. Strike one, says the umpire, even though uh, the batter knows better than that, I would say. And now you got Tommy Woodell, who is standing in there for the St. Louis Cardinals, who has been down the stretch here. Here comes the next pitch, and he hits it right to right center field. It is caught for out number one. And what a catch that was, ladies and gentlemen. But now we have George Alfredo up there. I think his name's Alfredo. I don't know. Some of the crazy names these characters come up with for baseball nowadays, huh, folks? There's the pitch. And strike one to George Alguido, or whatever his name is. Well, I tell you, uh, those were a lot of words you just said there, Bob. And welcome to the broadcast, by the way. Here comes the first pitch, or I mean the second pitch. He swings at this one, hits it to left center, and it's a base hit. So, my Marlins are on. They have a man on with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. But anyway, Bob, as I was saying, it's nice to be working with you. Here's the next pitch. He is here, right line drive to left field, and the ball is caught for the second out. I uh, saw you at WrestleMania 3. Um, you did a phenomenal job, and here is Brian Princeton, who is 0-2, by the way, for tonight. I, I'm sure I'm saying that my name right, Brian Princeton. And he's standing up there like a gopher. Standing up trying to get a, a doggy tree. That didn't make any sense, but I think gophers like carrots. But anyway, so we get a man on. Here comes the pitch. He is a right to left field, and it's caught. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cardinals up 12 to 1. Bottom of the fifth. We'll be right back. Are you hungry? Do you constantly search the fridge for what you're going to make for supper tonight? Well, knock that crap off, because boy do I have the answer for you. Trump steaks. That's right. Great big juicy Trump steaks will water your mouth while leaving you feeling full in the south. Trump steaks. It's what a real man eats, baby. I'm Donald J. Have you been injured in an accident? Do you have a structured settlement, but you need cash now? Well, then you better call Saul. At Goodman and Goodman, we make sure that you get your cash settlement and all one lump sum or your money back guarantee. Remember, we don't get paid until you get paid. Show me the money. They have the money. Better call Saul. Call today for a free estimate. I've been working uh, 
for the uh, Continental Breakfast Company for a long time now. I've seen a lot of things, uh, but one thing I will not tolerate is a pillow, much like this one, which has a zipper on the bottom of it. A zipper on the bottom of it, mind you. A zipper on the bottom of it that does will not close. I mean, I'm not gonna put up with that for one second. By the way, I took off my sunglasses there for a second. You may have seen that. You may have wondered why did he do that. Well, I'll tell you what, it's just simple. We're from Breakfast Continental. We don't joke around. We don't. We don't make mistakes. We double up on everything. Bacon, eggs, sausage, you name it. So come on down to the Holiday Inn and feel smarter for staying there. I have no idea what they had to do with that pillow, but it's a Holiday Inn Express. It'll make you feel smarter. Thank you. And welcome back to MLB The Show. I'm Bob Buecher, and here's Heidi Watney for... Con yes, hello, Bob. We are standing here with Cardinal Manager, and I was talking to him, and he says that his players are right on the ball here. They've got their donuts on the back, and they are hitting home runs out of the park, and he continues. He wishes to continue to see these things as the game progresses back to you joe and the announcer booth oh yeah we, we see the highlights home. here from nolan arenado as he has already hit two here tonight two home runs and baby we are looking for number three is it is the top of the sixth and there's the first pitch to him a strike and the Cardinals are leading 12 to 1 here in the top of the sixth. As uh, do we have a new pitcher in there? I don't know. I can't tell. But anyway, Nolan Arenado up at the plate, and now we have a discussion on the mound that looks like they're going to yes, they're going to take out the pitcher. And normally we would build a commercial break for this, but there he is, Jordan Holloway will step in to pitch for the Florida Marlins. As uh, you can see, he's putting the white powder stuff on his uh, hand. And now, here comes the second pitch. Oh, right to somebody. And boom, there's the force out at first. So the Marlins have one out, one away. Here, top of the six, one out. And here comes Harrison Batter. He's three for three on the day, a home run, double and a single. He is a triple away from hitting through the cycle. And here comes the pitch to him, strike one. Yes, indeed, it is strike one. By the voice. As the Florida Marlins dig in here, by the way, it's Holloway or Holiday. I do believe his name is. And uh, here's the next pitch coming. And boy, he hits that one hard, but right at somebody. And it's tossed over the first for the second out. And we are getting through the top of the sixth here very quickly, folks. Do you have an itch? Do you have a burning sensation in your feet? Well, if so, then use Tough Actin Tanakin. Tough Actin Tanakin will get the itch out of your ditch and the giddy up in your hitch and now here comes the second pitch to him it flies out to right field and it is caught and that does it for the top of the six we'll be right back ladies and gentlemen after these commercial breaks with more mlb action Hello everybody, Adam West here for Adam West Grills. Adam West Grills are better than any other charcoal grill you've ever owned are your money back guaranteed. Adam West Grills 
when you want to grill delicious juicy hamburger or even a burnt weenie Haddam West Grills it's the way to go get out there and grill people hey do you have jock itch well if you do then don't worry any longer use tough actin tanakin that's right tough actin tanakin not only cures athlete's foot, but it also now cures jock itch as well. I don't know, the whole thing may all be bullcrap. But I am John Madden, and I'm contractually obligated to sell you this shit. When your dog has a craving, go to Caesar. Especially when he's one of those fancy-ass dogs. Man, look at this guy. I can't get rid of him. He's up there all the time. He even goes to the bathroom sometimes up there. It's nasty. Somebody please come get this dog. Caesar. It's expensive. Please help. Hey everybody and welcome back to MLB The Show. John Bertie is up there at the plate. He's one for two here tonight. And uh, he's the pitcher, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, here comes the first pitch. And it looks like he's in there for a strike. We are at the bottom of the sixth, although I thought we were at the top of the seventh earlier on. He swings at one, and of course pops it just foul. Bertie is number five, and I don't know what the heck is going on because I'm coming into the middle of this thing because Joe Buck got sick a while ago, I assume from drinking too much. I'm surprised the man doesn't have alcohol poisoning. Boy, brother, I know I got that one once. Look at this. Okay, we're going to see a replay of it as though anyone gives a crap. So now, um, this next guy is up for the floor of the Marlins, and here comes the pitch. And uh, he swings at that one, low and away. Actually, it was in the dirt. Oh, yeah, his name's Cooper. And here comes the next pitch. And uh, that one is also a long way, but counted as a strike. I guess this umpire has never heard of the Marion Eye Center. Marion Eye Center, come get your eyes fixed. Get a pair of glasses, why not? Here comes the next pitch. He hits that one long way, but foul. Just on the foul line for strike two. Cardinals, of course, are up 12 to one. And here comes the next pitch. And he swings at that one, even though there was no way or chance of hell he was ever gonna hit it. And now that is the second out of the inning, and Cooper uh, should be ashamed of himself, for he's swinging at kindergarten level, and um, his teammates should hang him up in the shower and hit him with a bar of soap. And now, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There's the final out. That is the end of the sixth inning. We're leading to the top of the seventh. Time to stretch. St. Louis, 12, Miami, nothing. Are you tired of not having enough pockets? Do you reach into your, on the side of your thigh only to fill your hand? Well, now introducing the portable pocket. That's right, from the inventors of portable fans and portable air conditioners we bring you portable pockets you can strap these things on the side of your pants on the back of your pants or why not the side front of your chest these things are not fanny packs by any means or stretch of the imagination but they do come in five solid colors order your portable pocket today you may do so by calling the number on the bottom of your screen. Operators are standing by. Are you tired of ordinary nuts? Hey, wait a minute. Why do I sound like a squirrel? Wow, this is truly bizarre, ladies and gentlemen. Well, anyway, I guess I might as well just go ahead and go through with the commercial. Are you tired of ordinary nuts? Well, now there's Mr. Peanut Salty Nuts. 
Uh, they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, from big nuts, little nuts, medium nuts, and even extra salty nuts. Boy, these bad boys will grow hair on your chest. Get them at specialized superstores wherever big nuts are sold. You can buy them in a can, you can buy them in a bag, you can buy them even in... Oh wait, no, that's pretty much it. So remember, super-sized nuts from Nutco, Platter's Peanuts. They're the best. Damn it, I sound funny as a squirrel. Hey, a little tire is in the ordinary dip. Light side just in the ordinary dip when you can try hot avocado super salsa habanero dip. That's right, hot avocado super salsa habanero dip. Put some spice into your life. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to MLB The Show. We're back now, and the Cardinals is of course coming up. Brandon Waldell, the pitcher, who is actually one for three in this ball game, I guess they're not taking him out, is coming up in the seventh inning. Of course they wouldn't take him out. They want him to pitch a complete game. He hits it to left field, and it looks like it's going to get caught for the first out. Surprise, surprise. And uh, let's, let's, I tell you what, let's throw it over to Joe. He hasn't spoken in a while. And here is Tommy Edmond up at the plate. He is one for two on the night. And here comes the first pitch to him. And he hits it to right field. It's going back to the wall. It is off the wall. It is gone. Solo home run for Edmond. Number four on the season. And the Redbirds are now up 13 to 1 as they add yet another score to their lead. Oh man folks, this is becoming a real slaughter fest. Oh yes indeed it is Bob. It's got to be demoralizing for a pitcher as we take a look at the replay here. I mean this pitcher just got in. They just put him in and oh the top of the sixth I think it was and now we're at the top of the seventh and the home run just has got to get his confidence level way down here comes the first pitch to um, Emundo Suso and it's uh, called ball one and the second pitch he swings at but hits it just foul yes indeed folks it is 13 to 1 Cardinals now top of the seventh 1-1 one, one count. Here comes the next pitch. It's in there for strike two. So 1-2 one, count. One out. And this new pitcher, by the way, has already thrown 10 pitches. There's a hit right to someone. And then over to first for this force play. And it's two outs. Well, I guess it's not a force play, though. And here comes Jeremy Orr. He is one for three on the ninth. And he is on fire this season. Here comes the first pitch to him. He hits it right at the first baseman. And that's it for the inning. We will see you bottom of the seventh. It's time to stretch here at MLB The Show. Remember, this isn't an actual baseball broadcast, folks. We'll be right back. I'm a farmer by the southwest, voice. you know. And I, the one thing I can't stand... This is when a pepper goes bad. Mm -hmm. Bad peppers make for bad supper. You can't have bad supper when you're talking about bad peppers. When I pick a jalapeno pepper from my garden, I make sure it's absolutely the best. And you should too. You should accept nothing less than the best from our family to yours, from the garden to the grave, Haas Jalapeno Peppers. Expect the very best. Are you hungry for good food? Then order Trump Steaks. Trump Steaks are juicy 20 ounce steaks with a lean, bean driven machine that's right for every trump steak you get you get a chance to win the trump grill the trump girl knocks out the fat baby i'm donald trump and i approve this message 
Oh, yeah. Hello, everybody. Billy Mays here for Oxycontin. Are you tired of having wax in your ear or a boo-boo somewhere on your body? Well, then use OxyGlow. OxyGlow, or I'm sorry, OxyContin goes with everything. You can even use it to clean old Nintendo games with. OxyContin. Order now. Hello everybody, welcome back to MLB The Show. Now Miguel Rajaz comes up there, he's one for two for the day. St. Louis Cardinals up 13 to one. And here comes the first pitch as they've got their man in there. They've left him in there. There's a hit right up the middle and it is caught in center field. Boy, they've got a hell of a center fielder out there, I'll tell you that much. And now, here comes the next batter, and there comes the first pitch, and he hits it square away to center field. It's not going to get caught this time, folks. It goes all the way to the wall. This should have been, yes, he's in there for a stand-up double, folks. Unbelievable. So with one out, we got a man on second. Let's take a look at this again, an instant replay. Boy, what a play. So now we got a rally going. Florida Marlins got a rally going. Number 25 standing at the plate. It looks like he's trying to lay down a bunt. Boy, did that go sideways fast. <laughs> Boy, and I thought my batting career was a piece of garbage. Oh, he popped it up and it was caught apparently. I didn't catch that. So now we got two outs. Bottom of the seventh. And boy, this inning has just flew by. Here comes the next pitch. He hits it right to right field. It's caught, and that will end the ending. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the top of the eighth after these commercial breaks. We'll be right back. Hello, everybody. Are you tired of ordinary knives? Knives that just don't quite get the job done? Knives that won't even cut through fancy string? Well, now, a revolutionary new knife has been invented, the Scylla Knife. The Scylla knife will cut through anything and stay sharp as new. It'll slice through leather. It'll slice through wood. It'll slice through material even. And still stay sharp enough to slice through a tomato when you toss it in the air and slice it in half. But that's not all. Wait, there's more. When you order your Scylla knife today, you get a free knife sharpener. Call the number at the bottom of your screen. Operators are standing by. You are watching Fox Midwest. Remember, folks, this isn't an actual broadcast of an actual baseball game. We couldn't do that. That would be illegal. This is MLB The Show for xbox one that's right mlb the show 2021 for xbox one fox midwest we know sports do 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 here comes the money Money, 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 money. Yeah, I like to make a rain, rain and money, man. Are you tired of not getting your money for the stuff that you do? Do you have a one-time loss settlement? Or do you want your money all at once is what I'm asking you from a settlement that you got, maybe a lawsuit of some sort? Well, if the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up the phone and call the professionals. J and J Law. J and J Law will get you the money that you have earned through anything. A neck injury, a back injury. Maybe you fell down a flight of stairs at a hotel. Who knows? Give us a call. The number's right there, bottom of your screen. And if you don't like the song that I just sang, I got two words for you. Too bad.
Sorry. Was trying to do the people's eyebrow, but it didn't turn out so well. Just remember one thing. Also, everybody's got a price. And everybody's going to pay. Because the million dollar man always gets his way. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Bob Euchre here. Do you know I was at WrestleMania 3 and 4? And I believe that's Albert Pujols at the plate. And he hits one a mile away, but this one's going to get caught. And the score, ladies and gentlemen, 13 to 1 Cardinals is uh, here's a starter comparison of uh, Brandon Waddell and Alema uh, Hernandez. I don't know what his first name is. Three for four is Paul Goldschmidt sticks up to the plate here. And um, it is the top of the eighth here. We're going around the order. Oh, he hits this one pretty darn good. It goes flying. Oh, what a catch, folks. That one gets caught. Man, Joe, I tell you, this has been a heck of a game so far. Look at this again, an instant replay. Boy, what a catch. Boy, what a catch, yes, indeed, as we take a look at it one more time here, the instant replay. And that is the second out of the hand, and we are almost done here. As the pitcher winds back, and here comes the pitch. Ooh, that nearly hit him. Did you see that? That's Nolan Arenado. He is two for four, two home runs thus so far here tonight. Here comes the next pitch at him, right in there, down the middle for a strike. Man, it's got to be hard not to take a swing at that one. Here comes the next one. He hits this one up the middle. It's going back towards the wall, and it gets caught for the final out of the inning. The Cardinals 13, Marlins 1. We'll be right back with the bottom of the eighth. Generated by Revoice. Hey, you want some spice? You want some excitement? Snap into a slam jam. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. May want to take the plastic off first. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. So, uh, driving down the road, everything doesn't look so good. Uh, I guess I need new wipers. Wh who the hell is this guy flashing behind me? I better speed up, I guess. There we go. Speeding up. Okay, nothing. Alright, well, my wipers don't seem to be doing so good, so... You know what, folks? If your wipers aren't working so good like mine aren't, then you might want to consider getting yourself some RX wipers. RX wipers, they'll help you see the road at night while it's raining. Jeez, I better check the back seat. What? Hang on. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Is your car torn to shreds? Are you looking for a new way of transportation? Are you getting tired of all the repairs you have to do your car? Well, come on down to Larry's car lot. We have the latest in stock right now. From Volkswagen to Ford to Chevy. Anything you can think of. Oh, we've got all the major brands. And they're all on sale pretty much right now. Forget the sticker price. We'll throw that away. Come on down. Haggle with me, Crazy Larry, on Route 57 uh, at Pittsburgh Boulevard. We make you happy. Hey everybody, this is Bob Euchre, and welcome back to the show, MLB The Show, and I'm here to remind you that in no way, shape, or form are you to record any of Major League Baseball audio, otherwise there's a hit right to the third, ba second baseman, and a relay to the first baseman, he is out, so there's our first out here, bottom of the eighth, 13-1 Redbirds. 
bottom of the eighth, one out, and here comes the first pitch. I can't believe they're leaving this guy in here. He hits it. Base hit. It's the Marlins' first base hit for a long time since, I think, back in the sixth, if I'm not mistaken. Here's another pitch. He hits it right down the middle. It gets heads towards the wall, and this ball is out of here. See you later. Two home run blasts from Barrette. Barrette, am I pronouncing that correctly? Heck, I don't know. But that's his first home run of the season, and rightly so, as this pitcher has been in there for quite a while. 52 pitches. I can't believe it that they would leave him in there uh, much longer. I don't know. What do you think, Joe? Let's take a look at that home run again. This is right down Main Street, uh, folks, and he hits it a mile long, gets all the way to that wall. Look at that. What an amazing home run. But it's not going to help the floor of the Marlins now as it's three, 13 to 3 Redbirds. They have a long way to go to come back in this one. Here's the first pitch to the next batter. And he hits it straight down the middle. But this one will get caught for the second out. And, uh, you know. You know. We do know, Bob. And this is an amazing game. Even though the Cardinals are leading 13-3. to There's two outs. And here comes the first pitch to um, number 75. Who is that guy? Oh, Jesus. No, seriously. His name is Jesus Sanchez. And here comes the second pitch to him. That was ball one by one. He hits it right down the middle. It goes all the way center fielder. It's got it. And that's the final out. Now let's watch this. John Brady with a home run. 13-3 Cardinals. Coming up. Top of the ninth when we come back. Wow, what a home run. Generated by the voice. You want to heal your home? Don't heal your home with Hill of Flex. Heal it with Home Depot. Home Depot, we have the resources to heal your home. We can heal it from the foundation up. So remember, heal your home with Home Depot. Home Depot. We make a difference. You got a project or maybe something in your yard that needs to be done? Well, come on down to Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware has helpful folks that will help you find the things that you need to do the things that you need to get done. Ace Hardware, your neighborhood, your friendly neighborhood hardware store. Ah, uh, am I done with all these stupid commercials? Can I go back to bed now? All right, thank you. Gosh. Hello, everybody. I'm a deep voice guy, and I just want to remind you to avoid the noid. Avoid the noid and order Domino's, even though our pizza sucks. Our hot wings are okay, but... Oh, and our brownies are pretty good, too. Eh, you might want to put a little bit of... Uh, THC oil in our brownies, but come on down to Domino's, order a pizza today, or order on the Domino's app. Avoid the noid. Okay, can I go back to bed now? Jeesh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. Welcome back to the show, me. And it's top of the ninth. I'm feeling a lot better, by the way. And we are changing pictures. It's Anthony Bender on the mound for the Florida Marlins. And also Sru Bob Wecker. And here's Horizon Batter. He is three for, was this a three for four, three for three, something like that. Here comes the first pitch, and it's plowing away for strike one. What a pitch. So now we're ready for the second picture. And old boy, I'm not feeling as good as I thought I was. And he hits it right at somebody over the first day go. And there's the first out. 
as I'm going to have to leave again. In fact, I think I'm going to go home. It's out of here. Molina, by the way, up at the plate. He's one for something. Here comes the next pitch. He hits it right at somebody, and there it goes. It's caught for the second out. Back to you, Joey. I am so sick. It looks like Joe Buck will be unable to continue, but there are two outs, and now uh, pitch hitting. It's Paul DeYoung. He's up at the plate there, and here comes the first pitch to him. He hits it. Oh, man. That it's caught. It's instantly caught for the third out, and we, ladies and gentlemen, are finally going to the bottom of the ninth. Cardinals lead at 13 to 3. We'll be right back with Bob Euchre when we return. It's Tuesday. Eat tacos. Taco Tuesday. Eat tacos. I wanted to remind everybody, it's not a beautiful day out there. It's really stupid, quite stupid. But if you're going to drink the water, you're going to drink purified water. Whoops. You're going to drink purified water from Clover Valley. Clover Valley Purified Water is the only water brand I trust. And it's the only water, official water, of the St. Louis. Remember, purified water from Clover Valley. The only water that should be entering your body. Howdy, partner. Remember the dude? Yeah. Well, the dude might have been a man. Oh, yeah. He might have been a mighty man. But he wasn't just a dude for no reason, you know. He took special vitamins. Sure, I mean, we all take special vitamins from time to time. But these aren't just any ordinary vitamins. I'm talking about protein. You want good, high-quality protein at half the price? Then get Premier Quality Protein. You can buy these things pretty much anywhere. But as far as I know, Walmart is a major carrier of Premier Protein Shakes. Premier Protein. I don't even have to show you the product. The dude abides whatever the dude does. Just remember that. And I'll see you next time, partners. So, drink a protein shake, take your vitamins, say your prayers, and get plenty of exercise, buckaroos. And I'll see you next time. You want to heal your home? Don't heal your home with Hilliflex. Heal it with Home Depot. Home Depot, we have the resources to heal your home. We can heal it from the foundation up. So remember, heal your home with Home Depot. Home Depot, we make a difference. And welcome back here. Uh... MLB the show is the St. Louis Cardinals rang in their closer Gall uh, Gallows Gallows is two games under his belt so far and uh, here comes the you know I'm glad Joe uh, oh there's a hit right to ooh and he is out he is out at the plate you know what I think I'm going to hand it over to you, Joe. You seem to know one for three, this, this guy for the Marlins. And this, well, no, it's not their last chance, but they're pretty much, well, they're done for. As the Cardinals have 13-3, the lead, 
The first pitch to him is ball one. Here comes the second pitch. He hits it. Look at there, a base hit. Well, whoop de doo <laughs> I don't believe it. You can see it again here on instant replay. Or not. Would have to come back uh, 10 runs. And it's not going to happen. Bottom of the ninth, one out. Here comes the first pitch. And low and away, ball one. 13 to 3, Cardinals games is Levis. Lebus Boutron, I believe his name is. Here's the second pitch to Lebus. He hits it straight away. Center field. It's going way back, and this one's going to be caught for out number two. And the St. Louis Cardinals are one out away from taking this one. One for three. George Alfredo is up at the plate. And the Marlins are down to their final out. And let's see what this first pitch brings. Way up high there for ball one, getting him to chase after that one. And here comes the second pitch, strike one. And he is beside himself. He can't believe that's happened. The old umpire probably means Wes is right there. And here comes the next pitch. He pitches it out and away here for ball two. So, 2-1-1 two and one to count with two outs. Bottom and I, if here comes the next pitch, right down the All center right, of the plate folks, for well, strike number two. And now the Marlins the are down the to their now. final strike. Three, two, here full comes count. the next here pitch, comes the way pitch. out. He hits it a long two. way the to the center full field, now. and that ball is caught, Three, two, and that's the game, folks. St. Louis Cardinals take it away, 13-3. And boy, what a ball game this was. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the Cardinals versus the Marlins on the MLB The Show for Joe Buck and Joe Rogan. This is Bob Euchre saying so long, everybody, from Marlin, what is it, Marlin Field? Oh, well, who anyway, who cares? Good night, everybody, from MLB The Show. We'll see you next time. Oh, yes. And of course, how you What a want. game. They told me I forgot to say that. Good night, everybody. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports. Psh, 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 psh. Not really. Just kidding. EA Sports. It's in the game. This has not been an actual baseball broadcast. Had it been an actual baseball broadcast, we would have gotten the permission from Major League Baseball to do a rebroadcast of a broadcast in which you know is totally illegal. So that's not what happened here. This is a game that was played on the Xbox from EA Sports. EA Sports, it's in the game.